Hello students. Today we are going to start with part 5 of 10 principles of economics in which we will talk about principle number 4 which is people respond to incentives. An incentive is something that induces a person to act such as the prospect of a punishment or a reward. Let's understand this meaning with the help of numerical examples. So here is the first one. The social security system provides income for people over age 65. Okay. If a recipient of social security decides to work and earn some income, the amount he or she receives in social security benefits is typically reduced. Fine. First part. How does the provision of social security affect people's incentive to save while working? The provision of social security benefits lowers an individual's incentive to save for retirement because the benefits provide some level of income to the individual when he or she retires. This means that the individual is not entirely dependent on savings to support consumption through the years in retirement. Clear? B part, how does the reduction in benefits associated with higher earnings affect people's incentive to work past age 65? Since a person gets fewer after tax social security benefits, the greater his or her earnings are, there is an incentive not to work or not work as much after age 65. The more you work, the lower your after-tax social security benefits will be. Thus, the taxation of social security benefits discourages work effort after age 65. Clear? Here is the next question. A recent bill reforming the government's anti-poverty programs limited many welfare recipients to only two years of benefits. First part, how does this change affect the incentives for working? When welfare recipients have their benefits cut off after two years, they have a greater incentive to find jobs than if their benefits were to last forever. B part, how might this change represent a trade-off between equality and efficiency? The loss of benefits means that someone who cannot find a job will get no income at all. So the distribution of income will become less equal. But the economy will be more efficient because welfare recipients have a greater incentive to find jobs. Conclusion, thus the change in the law is one that increases efficiency but reduces equity. Clear? Thank you.